about yourself Don't you like you? Cause I like you <laughs> when I was in high school, I was in choir, and I used to sing all the time, and then I started getting competitive in high school. And so we would go and we would sing in front of judges, and then they start narrowing it down, and they start taking different areas from different um, like districts in Texas. But I eventually got to, um, I think I made, f it was either third or fourth, I think it was fourth in Texas, so that was really cool. I have like really, really good roommates. They're like my home away from home. Like they're my family here. Um, I literally love them to death. So we love cooking together. We watch The Bachelor and The Bachelorette together every, every week. We, we're always together. Um, I think I got my first like iPod touch when I was like, I don't even know, maybe like 10. I think that was my first time ever having something that I had like access to the internet, like in my pocket. I think I was about 11 when I first stumbled across pornography. I think it was a video. I don't remember what it was, but I, what I do remember and I still like vividly remember is like, it, I had like the most like disgusting, like pit feeling from day one, like something in my brain just changed. And so when I think about myself and how young I was when I first got into it, it's honestly so sad to me and I look at like pictures of myself when I was that age and I'm like what was I I honestly don't know what was going through my brain I just remember like the most sad feeling when I watched it for the first time I definitely felt like my porn consumption was out of control um, because it started getting to the point where like I wouldn't even want to watch it and I hated it but I felt like I had to and like that urge doesn't go away until you do it kind of thing um, and so I would say it got out of control by the time that I was honestly like 12 like I think there were times when I would watch pornography like multiple times a day I had an experience where um, a mentor of mine um, came to talk to a group of us girls and she told us I know you girls don't struggle with this because it's what boys struggle with. If you ever are seriously dating a guy or engaged or even married, make sure that they have never struggled with pornography or aren't. And she's like, and if they have struggled with pornography or are currently struggling, you definitely want to like rethink your choice of husband. I just remember thinking, okay, so no one's ever going to love me for me or for something that I've like had a problem with. What can I do to make people attracted to me? Um, it just made me feel very, I guess, worthless. And I think that's what, where a lot of my like um, shame like stemmed from is knowing that no one would ever want me in that way. I have lasting effects from hearing that because I, that's like the perfect way to tell a 12 year old girl that she's never gonna ever like find love. There have been recent times in my life and I know multiple times in my friend's lives where um, I've felt pressured when it comes to men and thought that certain things were okay when it comes to intimacy. And I think that pornography really um, normalized sexual abuse in my brain. And what's interesting is I didn't even know that it was not okay and I didn't even know that it was bad until afterwards when I really thought about it and talked about it. So many girls and boys are watching pornography and not realizing what consent is and allowing these things to happen to them. I am so much better now. Like, it's so amazing like how far I think I've come. I'm really proud of how, how much work I've put into getting better. So I wouldn't say I'm recovered, but I would say that I am able to say no now. There was one time in the whole seven years that I had the urge and said no to it. Every other bajillion time that, or thousands of times that I had the urge, I gave in because you can't help it. But now I, I'm able to say no to it and that's such a cool powerful thing that I'm able to resist it now and just know my worth and know that um, I don't have to be like consumed by this anymore. I'm so much better now and I'm so much happier. My life is so much better. I always appreciate like every single day now I'm like I can't believe that I go to like the best school ever and I'm doing like the coolest thing with my career and I have the coolest friends and like 
My life is just so much happier now, and it's so, it took a long time to get here, but it, I definitely made it here, so super cool.